In this video, we'll take a look at a few reasons why you shouldn't hardcode values that may change into your formulas. Here we have a simple table for a driving trip across the United States. The route begins in San Francisco and ends in New York City. The route is divided into segments, with each segment starting and ending in a larger city. Let's add formulas in columns E and F to calculate the estimated fuel usage and fuel cost. First, in column E, to estimate fuel consumption, we'll need a formula that divides the distance by the estimated miles per gallon. Let's say we think our car will get 25 miles per gallon on average. We can write the formula as D7 divided by 25, and then copy it down. In column F, we need to calculate cost. Let's assume that gas will cost about 250 a gallon. In that case, the formula becomes E7 times 250. So if we total up these columns, we can see that the entire trip will take about 130 gallons of fuel, which will cost about $300. So these formulas work fine, but what if you want to change the assumptions? For example, what if you want to change the miles per gallon to 24 and the estimated cost to $2.30? In that case, you'll need to edit all the formulas to reflect these new assumptions. If you're clever, you can save a few keystrokes if you first select all the formulas, make the change, and then use Control Enter to update all the formulas at once. But still, you'll need to touch every formula in this worksheet. And if you change the assumptions, you'll need to do it all over again. In a more complicated worksheet, this can be a lot of tedious work. And because you may need to edit a large number of formulas, it increases the chance of error significantly. A better approach is to expose the assumptions on the worksheet where they can be easily seen and modified. To do that, I'll add some input cells at the top and add labels to make them clear. Now, I can modify the formulas to use these inputs instead of the hard-coded values. I'll need to make the references to the input cells absolute so that I can copy the formulas down without problems. Now I can easily change the assumptions and all formulas automatically recalculate. There's no need to edit any formulas. In general, when you build a formula that requires an input that may change, consider exposing the input on the worksheet. This will make your worksheets easier to understand, more professional, and more durable overall.